I'm State Representative Justin Chenet. And I'm State Senator Linda Valentino, and welcome to another edition of Bringing Augusta to You. And we're here at the office this morning uh, on a weekend. Uh, we just had a meeting with a constituent, a concerned constituent regarding the Fund for Healthy Maine. It's one of the many things that are on the chopping block in, in this uh, biennial budget, and you guys have been really delving into this on the Appropriations Committee. Well, one of the things also, in addition to the Fund for Healthy Maine that we've been talking about, is we had a very large hearing the other day on the proposed reductions for the forest rangers, uh, which has been uh, very controversial. One of the things is that we have 74 forest rangers right now who have enforcement authority when they go out into the woods and they find somebody violating one of the laws. And the governor's proposal in the budget would be to strip all of the enforcement capabilities for the forest rangers and create 74 new um, resource protection offices, which would be a 90% reduction in law enforcement in the woods. And so seven people would have to cover the entire state of Maine. That was a very controversial issue that we dealt with this week. Uh, meanwhile, over in my committee in criminal justice and public safety, our first two bills that we reported out of our committee were voted unanimously unanimously in favor, which was really nice to see that, that setting a, a very positive bipartisan tone. Moving forward, one had to deal with uh, fake military service claims for uh, financial gain, as you've probably been seeing uh, many headlines in the media about uh, people sort of lying or not really pr um, uh, articulating their background correctly, let's just say, in terms of, of their military service. This helps to clarify the law. We all agreed that it was an issue that had to be addressed and highlighting existing law that does say this is not okay, this is illegal, we need to make sure that we're supporting our, our, our men and women uh, that have done so much for this country. Uh, the other bill re re required drug tests for blood samples after a fatal car accident regarding drugs. So this, this would say that uh, you're already testing the blood for alcohol, and this just says that to DHHS, hey, test for drugs as well, as we're seeing an uptick in the amount of drug-related instances across the state. So those were two things that we passed out of our committee this past week. Well, the other thing that I think everybody's been seeing uh, are the front page headlines, the um, battle that's going on, uh, the governor with the attorney general. And it's actually, I think, gone further than that. It's brought in a lot of the legislators. It's brought in the judicial branch also. Uh, they heard um, oral arguments on Thursday um, before the main Supreme Court on whether or not the governor um, had to get the permission of the attorney general um, to hire outside legal counsel and whether or not the attorney general could set limits on that. This traditionally has been done. The governor does not agree with it, so he did pretty much ask the Supreme Court for a solemn occasion on that. Also, the governor is now upset on the um, $21 million lawsuit that we have. Uh, the settlement specifically says that the Attorney General is the person to disperse this money. Um, this happened previously under the Republican Attorney General. Bill Schneider was able to disperse the money. The governor doesn't like it. He's asked the legislature to weigh in on it um, quite heavily. So uh, I think we need to kind of address that situation. Um, we need to bring that to a head. Somebody has to be the adult in the room and it needs to be the legislature to say enough. We need to get on with the business of the state of Maine um, and it's affecting the judiciary budget, it's affecting the attorney general's budget. So we have to let it go through the courts. Exactly. Yeah. We're waiting to see what the court process um, says. Hopefully we'll have an opinion on that um, within a week to two weeks on that and we can move forward after that. It's just not nice to see this playing out in the media when there's so many important issues we need to be talking about. That's it. And uh, we'll be spending all next week tomorrow, um, rather, coming up on the DHHS budget. We're going to have five full days. We'll have hundreds of people every single day up in Augusta testifying on that budget. Right. And those are the things that we really need to concentrate on, not the politics that are going exactly. on between two Real issues, people. right. Real issues <laughs> that affect real people. Right. And, and, and speaking of real issues, uh, I did testify before the Veterans and Legal Affairs Committee on, on something that we're both very passionate yeah. about, uh, PAC and campaign finance reform. This is something that is critical to, to filling the blatant backdoor loopholes that exist in terms of spreading money around clean election candidates being able to say that they're clean in public and then turning around and saying, let's collect hundreds of thousands of dollars from the very special interest groups and lobbyists 
that uh, kind of run the show in Augusta, which is really sad to see. We can close those loopholes. We can make the system more clean. Uh, and so two bills, bipartisan bills from a re Democrat and Republican have come forward. We're both co-sponsoring them. Yeah. So it's really nice to see that. Uh, and there was a nice piece in the Sun Journal. We'll put a link to, to this in the, in the video comment section so you can check it out um, and follow along. So that's what's been happening in Augusta. Back home, we just have to give a quick shout out yeah. uh, to the Thornton Academy girls indoor track team. Um, it just seems like all of our athletic teams do a, such a great job every year, but they're state champions. So congratulations to the girls who did such a great job. And we're gonna be looking very closely to some other athletic teams uh, from Thornton and our, in our communities as well that are doing some great things. And so go TA this afternoon for the girls basketball. <laughs> We've got our fingers crossed for you. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> And I think that wraps it up for today. We'll see you right back here next week. Thank you.